In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom WordPress dashboard using Elementor Pro. I have created a video on how to set up a custom WordPress dashboard for your client's website using a white label CMS plugin. So if you haven't watched that video, click here to watch that video. I'll also provide the video link in the description box as well. All right. Hello guys. Welcome to Digital Anke YouTube channel. This is Nanda Kishore. For more useful and interesting videos, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn on the notification bell to all so that you don't miss out on any of my latest video updates. All right, if you're ready, let's get started. So as part of this tutorial, I have created a custom dashboard. If I want to hand over the website to my client, I would give them this customized dashboard. As you can see, we have few things in here. You can display your client user profile picture and a welcome note down here. Also, you can write a short message here to let your client know if they need any sort of help, what they should do. All right, we have a contact form here. They can probably enter their query and send you an email. And down here, I have added tutorial videos for clients. If they need any help, they can watch these tutorials and solve it by themselves. Let's see how we can make this kind of dashboard for your clients now. So this is how my current WordPress dashboard looks. And if the client sees this, it's like a puzzle for them to solve because it's not clear and they don't understand what this and that. So it's better to have a custom made dashboard just for your client because you're properly showing the direction where they should go and what they should click on. So we are gonna customize it nicely and make it easier for your client. All right, so to start with, we are gonna need a plugin from your dashboard, just head over to the plugin section and click on add new. So we will do the complete customization using a plugin called white label CMS. This guy right here, click on install now and activate once it's installed. Now to access this plugin settings, head over to settings and there you see white label CMS. Click on that. Now we have some options in settings that we should update before we can start using the white label CMS plugin. All right, I have made a detailed video on how to set this up. So I request you guys to click on the I button in the top right corner to watch the video and come back to this video. Also, I would leave a link in the description box as well. So please feel free to check it out. So hope you guys have watched the video and done all the settings. So welcome back again. Now we will see how to customize the WordPress dashboard. So I want you guys to click on the dashboard options here. We will go step by step. All right. So what do we have here? Default panels. Let me just open the dashboard in another tab by holding the control in Windows or command for Mac users. So what you see here are the default WordPress panels. Here you can set the dashboard icon. Let me choose that. And then we have the dashboard title on website or select the roles the dashboard panels will be hidden to. So by default, all the roles are selected here. If you see here, we can hide all the dashboard panels. Let me show you how that works. I'll toggle this on and click save. Now go to the dashboard tab and click refresh. Oh, this dashboard icon is huge. So I got to choose a small one. I'll do that later. All right. If you see the dashboard now, it's empty. All the default WordPress panels are hidden now, right? Let's go back to white label CMS settings. I'll toggle this off. Now you can also specify which panels to appear on the dashboard. I encourage you guys to check them out. Here comes the exciting part of this video, custom welcome dashboard panel. So we are going to add our own welcome panel. We have three different template options to choose from. The first one that we have is basic HTML, which you have seen in my old video. Let me show you once again a real quick. Under this welcome panel description of HTML, I'll write, hello there, welcome to my dashboard, or something like that, and make it full width and dismissible. So this lets you dismiss the message. I don't do that. and. Uh, now let's click on save, go to the dashboard 
and click refresh. There you go, HTML welcome message. So in this video, our focus is to make a custom dashboard using Elementor page builder. So the plugin is already installed. If you haven't, then don't worry. I'll show you what to do next. So head over to plugins, search for Elementor, click install now and activate. This is just a free version. To create a custom Elementor template, we are gonna need the Elementor Pro version plugin. If you don't have one, go to this link that I displayed on the screen or click the link I provided in the description box below. You will come to this page where you can choose whichever is best suited to your requirements. We have three subscription plans to choose from. If you're just starting over, then you can go with essential plan or if you are already making a website for your clients, then you can go with expert plan. For companies, web design agency, obviously it's recommended to go with agency plan. All right. So once you have made the purchase, then you'll get an email with the instructions to download this plugin. And also you'll be able to download it after completing the payment. Anyways, once you have downloaded the plugin, click on the upload plugin option and choose the zip file you have downloaded. Install now and click activate. As you can see, now we have the Elementor free version and Elementor Pro versions installed successfully. Awesome. Now if we go back to white label CMS under the dashboard, scroll down. Now we have the Elementor option. You can toggle that on. Down here, you can choose the template. We have different options to choose from, but we don't have any dashboard template created it. All right, now let's head over to templates and select saved templates. Click on add new. And now we are going to create a page. Let's call it a dashboard. Hit create template. Let's change the layout to Elementor canvas. Now we are going to actually create the custom dashboard. Let's click on the plus and I'm going to choose uh, this container. And again, I'll click on the plus and drag and drop this image widget. Then I'll go here and choose the dynamic option, user profile picture. As you can see here, the user profile picture has been pulled automatically. And now I'm going to go here and choose the heading widget and make it center aligned. Now choose the dynamic tags option, select user info and click on this branch and under the field, choose the display name. Then click on advanced option before I'll type header and after comma welcome to your dashboard. Uh, let me add a space here. So as you can see, we have the welcome message with the dynamically pulled username. Let me do a little bit of styling here. I'll go here to style and click on typography and reduce the font size to 40 and change the color to black. Now I'll click on this plus and choose the two column container and I'll copy this heading and paste it here and X this. Here I'll type drop us a line if you need any help. I'll make it H3 and go to style and reduce the font size to 30 and change the font size to semi bold. Next, I'll go to widgets and drag and drop the text editor and make it justified. And I'll go to advanced and add some padding. Then to the second column, I'll add a form widget. Drag and drop. I don't like this button color. Let me change that real quick. Done. Now I'll choose a four columns container and bring in a video widget. I'll copy this and paste it to other three columns. All right. Now I'm going to change these videos so you can add some simple tutorial videos for your clients. They can go through them and solve it by themselves. Mm, it looks clumsy. Let me add some padding for this. I'll go to advanced and unlink this and add five to the top and for the bottom. Similarly, let's do it for this section as well. 
and for the top section if I to the top done looks much better go ahead and click on publish I click on back and go to settings and white label CMS go to dashboard and scroll down and toggle elementor and search for dashboard now click on save go here and click refresh there you go we have the custom design dashboard looks much better isn't it so another exciting feature is that you can create a second panel for different users just like the one we have created you can create another dashboard template and then come here and choose that and here you can select which users should see that second panel next up we have menus want to add menus for your client if we turn this on we can decide which options on the side panel should show to your client and which ones shouldn't for instance i would deselect all of them except posts and pages now click on save to show you how that looks i have to log in as a different user because if you see here menus will be hidden to all users roles up to and including admins except me because i am the super admin so imagine i am the client and i'm logging into the site and click login and here we see only the posts pages and profile so that's how you control the menu options for different users that's it guys hope you have found this video interesting and useful please like and share your opinion in the comment section below and also share it with your friends who are into web design definitely it would help them thank you guys see you next time peace out